been brewed for more than a quarter of a millennium. It's one of the most loved beer brands on the globe. And more than 9 million pints, 9 million pints, wow, of the black stuff are sipped around the world each day. In his new book, author Rod Smith has traced the story of Guinness Down Under, giving a fascinating account of how the legendary beer made it all the way from Ireland to the Antipodes in the 1800s. Welcome to the Cafe Rod. Yes, welcome, Rod. <laughs> Glynis, your wife, is actually a descendant of the Guinness clan, is that right? She is indeed, yeah, sixth generation. Uh, the, the, it's a bit thin, it's a thin link, <laughs> but uh, the family still welcome anybody who's got a connection back in England or Ireland. If you're a Guinness, you're a Guinness. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, so does that mean you get free entry into <laughs> the Guinness Brewery in Dublin? Uh, we did get free entry. Yay! But, and you get a free pint, of course, yeah. if you go into the storehouse. Um, yes, it does. That's good. And is there a tenuous link between her first name and Guinness? Glennis and Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> no? No, that was her Scottish grandmother. Right, nice. Okay, well, well, this is how it started, really, because you decided to write a story on the history of your wife, but then you we ended up going into the history of Guinness. So what sparked that interest? Uh, it's one of those rainy Sunday afternoon stories. Sitting round the family table, my mother-in-law starts talking about the background, mentions Guinness, and I thought, Guinness? Is that the Guinness? And she said, yes, that's the Guinness. That was 21 years after we'd been married. And is it true one of the Guinness clan actually got quite involved in the book, wanted to help you out? Yes. Oh, they... The three or four that I talked with were all very helpful. One in particular, Edward, who wrote the preface, uh, has had, he's 90. Wow. Uh, he worked for the firm for 44 years. Um, he um, has links with New Zealand. He, st he trained as a brewer with a Kiwi, Doug Cox. His memory of Doug is of a colonial boy who came over to England after the war, went to brewing school, and the Guinness has looked after him. And one Sunday afternoon, the Guinnesses were trying to remove a shrub, a big shrub, out of their garden, and they were dilling around, as, <laughs> as Doug would say. Dilling around. Or said at the time. Yeah. And uh, so he just got the chopper, and with two blows of the axe, the sh tree was gone. Uh, <laughs> so the Guinnesses have, yeah, they, that family have a fond link with New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. How did it, you know, briefly, yeah. how did it end okay, up? Okay, well, two grandsons of Arthur Guinness, the brewer, were the Burke brothers, Edward and John Burke. So it's a family business. They started bottling it because it was always in barrels, so mm -hmm. they started putting in bottles, champagne bottles with lead foil caps, wow. stone jars, and then glass bottles, and they started exporting it. 200 agencies around the world during the 1800s. They followed the Union Jack, basically, wherever wow. the British went, Guinness went. So in 1851, the first shipment of Guinness came to New Zealand. Right. Uh, and there's always been enough drinkers to sustain the volumes in New Zealand. It did thin out in the 1970s, and it wasn't brewed here anymore then. They had, we had to import from Australia. Then when draft came in the 1980s in New Zealand, beer, Guinness beer took off, and it's maintained a steady run ever since. Hasn't it? With so much competition, and I know that you know it's probably one of the first books written about Guinness, so some of the, you know, the founding members very excited about it. Yes, this is the first one uh, for the Antipodes. The family have got lots of books about Ireland and England and what have you, but this one is the first one for Down Under, and right. they are very appreciative. It's quite a close Clan, like I say, if you've got a drop of Guinness in you, in your bloodstream, that is. I uh, have a few. You've yeah. got a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part Irish, absolutely. Then, then you're welcome, and any mm. contribution you can make to the family is appreciated. Guinness Down Under is available now from all good bookshops. It's a great insight into the history of Guinness and also New Zealand. Yes, thank you very much, Rod. <laughs>